Welcome to Kim's Creativity Hacks. Hello everybody, how are you today? Time for another of Kim's Creativity Hacks. And today's Creativity Hack is the fifth in the series so far, and it's about taking action. But not just about taking action, but making lots of small progress. So last weekend, I um, had the awesome privilege of seeing Ben Fogel um, speak at a three-day property symposium. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Ben Fogel is, uh, he uh, was on the original uh, program, I think it was called Survivor, over here uh, in the UK. Um, and he's gone on uh, to build a career out of that as a TV presenter, but more specifically, um, a wilderness adventurer. So he took on um, this amazing rowing challenge with um, Olympian James Cracknell. Um, he uh, has uh, uh, been to Antarctica and um, conquered that. Uh, and he is just back uh, from an exp expedition to climb Everest. So he likes to challenge himself shall we say. He was thrilling us with all these amazing stories uh, and he also took questions at the end and uh, I really liked how he handled the questions. Um, they were very thoughtful answers and I felt he created the parallels um, for those of us in the room about being brave enough to do something different. He was um, very clear about you know all of these challenges he's done have been about um, stepping away and doing something different and he really acknowledged that you know we were there for three days at a property symposium we could have been out enjoying the amazing weather he said you know it takes it takes courage and it takes guts to do that it really takes something so one of the questions from the audience members was what would be his uh, advice to um, you know those of us embarking on this this new adventure in property and he said um, you're always going to have um, this this bigger plan this longer term plan he said but but what's really important is to focus on immediacy and what's happening now and what you can do now and he talked about the importance of just keep on taking steps just keep on taking action. Don't bite off more than you can chew, but just keep going forward. So you may be wondering at this point where this creativity hack is going. Uh, and I want to um, illustrate today's creativity hack by um, sharing a journey with you uh, that I've been taking over the last three years. So this month, July 2018 marks a really big milestone for me. I have lost 30 kilograms in three years. And it's a testament really to today's hack of taking small steps and keeping the progress going. Uh, because, because creativity is, is really about standing in your purpose and your goal, um, but being open to solutions. And I want to share um, a bit about um, this, uh, this three-year journey with you to illustrate um, the point today. So three years ago, I was in a fantastic job, absolutely loved the job, but I was traveling internationally quite a lot and struggling um, to develop any normal sleep patterns. And on top of that, I was feeling quite stressed. So I was struggling with both of these things. And I felt I just wanted to get some mental calmness and mental clarity back. So I decided to um, return to swimming. So we have a legacy um, in our family of, um, of swimming um, through my mum and my grandparents and my aunts and uncles. But also growing up in Australia, um, most of us learn how to swim at an early age. So I returned to the water there was a gym in the bottom of the building where I worked. It had a 16 metre pool. And so I decided I would go down once a week and I would swim 50 laps. That was my starting point. It had been close to 10 years 
since I'd done any swimming. So the first time I went down, I swam 50 laps. It took me 40 minutes, particularly because I had to stop after every 10 because I was so out of breath and so tired. But I did it. And every week I made the swimming an appointment in my diary and I stood up from my desk at 4.30 and people knew I was going for a swim. So after six weeks of um, going down to the pool, I had reached 80 laps and I was swimming them non-stop. So just that small period, six swims, was all it took to go from 50 laps to 80 and non-stop. So within three months, um, I was swimming 100 laps once a week, non-stop. So I continued with that. Um, I loved the meditative aspect of it, and it was really helping to relieve my stress and help me sleep. So I did that for about nine months. And, and so at this point, I decided to go twice a week. So that's two times a week, 100 laps each time. Um, Again, struggled a little bit at first, but before long, um, I was doing this relatively easily. I swam hard, I pushed myself. This wasn't a social chatty swim where I stopped at the end. Um, I got in and I did the 100 laps. So by November 2016, so about 13 months later, I had lost 12 kilos. And that was unintentional because that was not my goal for going back into the water. But another thing happened in um, November 2016. I uh, left the company I worked for. I took a package. Uh, our company was taken over by a competitor. Um, and so leaving meant I lost access to um, the very convenient and subsidised gym membership in the bottom of the building. So no access to a pool. And all I was interested in doing was maintaining. I just didn't want to slide back into the mental um, stress I'd been feeling when I started swimming. And I thought it would be great to just maintain uh, my weight at the level I'd achieved and not put it all back on. But without a pool, how was I going to do that? So I've always been a walker. Um, I have been um, carless uh, for about nine years now. You could say um, working commuting in London, you don't need it. And that's absolutely true. But also, uh, there are times when I could uh, take the tube or take a couple of buses and I think, you know what, I can walk that. So um, when I go over to um, the school where I'm a trustee, that's a 45 minute walk each way. When I go to Pilates every every week, that's a 25 minute walk each way. So, so walking is just a, a natural part of life for me. So I'd been doing that anyway, but just before I'd left work, a whole group of us had signed up uh, to an, uh, an app called My Fitness Pal. And what we'd been talking about is um, it as a good way to um, manage um, calories in and calories out. And I kind of got this. So I'm, I'm not a big dieter. I don't do crash diets. I don't do this whole thing about I'm going to lose 10 kilos in three months. Um, but I, I am an advocate of slow, small, incremental um, changes um, to shift lifestyle patterns. So I signed up to this MyFitnessPal app um, and I decided I would um, log everything I ate and I would weigh myself once a month to make sure I wasn't uh, putting on um, extra extra weight again. What I learned from using my fitness pal, at first it was a bit of a faff because you've got to put all the food in and, and that sort of thing, but it was a real eye opener um, to see the balance of the things I was eating. Some of the things I thought um, were healthy um, might have been healthy, but might have been, you know, higher. Um, in calories. It helped me balance a lot of the nutritional um, content on my plate, um, balancing also um, the protein, carbs and, and fats in my diet. Um, but the other thing that was a bit of a revelation is all of a sudden I understood what 1500 calories looked like, which at the time was the, was the goal. 
Then I was also inputting um, exercise. So all of a sudden, I got completely the equation of calories in and calories out. So I didn't expect this to happen, but the weight continued to come off. It came off slowly, um, sometimes, you know, a kilo a month maybe. There might be a couple of months where I stayed the same. But 10 months later, I'd actually lost another 12 kilos. So that brings us to September 2017. In October of last year, um, I decided that what I wanted to do was actually um, build up my strength and flexibility. Um, I hadn't been doing um, a lot of that. Uh, and I also wanted to take care of a, a grumpy back. Um, and I'd had um, quite a painful um, shoulder for some time. So yoga wasn't really um, an option for me. So I decided to find um, a good Pilates class. And that's something I do now every Monday. So all the walkings continued, managing the healthy and balanced diets continued, and now I've added the Pilates on top of that, just an hour a week. And so between October last year and this month, July, um, I've lost another eight kilos. So if you add all that up, it was 10 kilos of the first phase, 12 kilos the second phase, and this latest run of eight kilos, that's 30 kilos over three years. I keep reminding myself and I have friends that remind me of what an extraordinary achievement that is. But for me, the biggest things are um, just feeling um, physically well. I, I think nothing of walking up and down the escalator now before it would have had to have been a really conscious decision and a conscious effort to do it. I feel really amazing. I feel really healthy and I feel really connected to my body. But what I want to um, iterate here for this creativity hack is this has been a three-year journey of many many thousands of small steps and it, it's taken change it's taken adaptation and it's when I read this creativity hack and I heard Ben Fogel speak I thought that's so true it's about standing within the purpose of what you want so for me it was being it was just being well and being mentally well, more so. Um, standing in that and saying, how do I do this? And being open to solutions. So in light of that, I want to finish today's creativity hack with a, um, a fantastic quote uh, from um, American uh, President Calvin Coolidge. What he said was, all growth depends on activity. There is no development, physically or intellectually, without effort. And effort means work. So that's where I want to finish today's creativity hack. It may not have been quite what you expected, but I wanted to share um, this particular hack with you because I think we can get really caught up in, in the big dream and the big goal, and sometimes it can occur as... Um, very far away and very impossible. Whereas if we you think about um, immediacy and we think about just small steps, just keep taking small steps and keep making small progress, then amazing, extraordinary things can happen. So thanks for tuning in today. I hope you've enjoyed my story. I hope um, this has been a useful um, illustration. Um, please uh, get in touch. Feel free to share um, your stories uh, with me. And um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. So this is Kim Hamer signing off. Get creative. Bye bye.